<laughs> You're in a long-time relationship with a fellow actress, or actor, they're now all actors. We're all Sarah actors. Paulson. Correct. You've called her the most wonderful thing in your life. Elaborate. Well, it's easy to elaborate by saying, imagine being in love at my time in my life with somebody who's such a great artist, such a free, independent spirit, and such a multi faceted, amazing. She, her range is, she can play anything. She's also the greatest mimic in the world. She's also so stylish and she's really kind of a, a clothes horse fashion person who really tells a story with every outfit she puts Marcia on. Marsha Clark, Met Ball. she was unbelievable. The Marsha Clark role was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Me too. But mainly just as a person, she's a real independent spirit. She How marches to her own drum. Oh, we've known each other for years. Uh, just meeting at award things and at birthday parties and at parties and, you know, and show business parties. And then we, we got together about a little over three years ago. How did that happen? Actually, I was on Twitter. She was on Twitter and I tweeted something that made her think I was, I was sad. I think it was, I think it was after Anne closed and I had a real sadness at the end of that long journey of Anne, which was like, eight years where I was at the head of an army and we had so many people and so much excitement. So I had kind of a sorrowful period afterwards and she responded to it and she sent me a private message saying, you know, how are you? I'm thinking about you. And we sa I said, well, let's have a drink. So we just, that, that's how it happened. So she, she did it. She to blame. She to blame. She's the one. Were you always lesbian? Uh, no, Larry, what a, what a blunt question. What, what, why is that? Uh, no, but I was about, I, I think, um, I think I had my first relationship with a woman when I was in my very late 20s. And I've, I'm, it was, you know, relationship specific. I'm not, you know, card carrying. I'm not, I haven't drawn a line in the sand about that, but that is the way that turned out. And certainly with Sarah, yes. You didn't come out publicly until three years ago. I didn't really come out because I simply wasn't hiding in the first place. So I, it's a very awkward thing, particularly for my generation. It's very different if you're 24. But for my generation, regardless, it would be odd to talk about your, you know, your sexual orientation or your sex life in public under any circumstances. So it would be nothing that I would be automatically talking about, but nor was it anything I was lying about either. I just simply didn't, I wasn't, carrying a sign around. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.